Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video presentation. This is a short presentation that will teach you the basics of depreciation. So let's go ahead and start this presentation. The purpose of this presentation is to help you understand the basics of depreciation. Is there an echo in here? Notes, I will not cover everything the basics only just like a lot of my accounting presentations and bookkeeping tutorials i very much focus on the basics and try not to go too much in depth if you have questions about more in depth aspects of depreciation then there is email support available if you go to my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com there is a service there where you can sign up for email support where you can ask me questions by email and I'll answer your questions. I am based in the UK but the accounting principles covered in this presentation and most of my videos are used internationally. Research everything and seek the advice of a tax professional please before applying anything taught in this presentation. This presentation, just like a lot of my presentations and videos, is put together very quickly. I do not do YouTube for a living. This is not my full-time job. So I tend to make these videos um, on the spur of the moment when I have half an hour free. So it is put together fairly quickly. If there are any calculations that are slightly wrong or any spelling errors, please just overlook those things. Um, it was put together in quite a, a short amount of time. So depreciation, what is it? Depreciation is a tax deductible expense that allows a taxpayer or company to recover the cost of an asset. Now to explain that a bit better and to give you an example, if you bought a computer for your business, if a company buys a computer for £1,500 or $1,500, in 12 months time that computer is not going to be worth £1,500. Now in accounts and when we produce financial statements they need to be accurate if you have a computer that's valued at 1500 pounds on your balance sheet if we're saying that a business or company has an asset worth 1500 pounds and it's not worth 1500 pounds then obviously that is inaccurate with depreciation assets are devalued with time so a computer that we pay £1,500 for isn't going to be worth £1,500 in 12 months' time. It's going to be worth even less in 24 months' time, in three years, four years, five years, etc. So we use depreciation to bring down the value or to correct the value, the true value of an asset. So if we look at this last bullet point, depreciation lowers assets value on the balance sheet by recording depreciation expense. So the depreciation is classified as an expense on the profit and loss, it brings profit down, and the asset value is lowered on the balance sheet. Hopefully I'm not going too quickly for you, I'll try to slow this down a bit. So types of depreciation. First of all, it's important that you understand this little formula at the top here, cost, less residual value equals amount to depreciate. So the cost of the asset less the residual value, the residual value being the amount the asset is worth at the end of its useful life. So you may plan on replacing a computer in a few years, or you may have bought a piece of machinery and you know it's only going to last 10 years. The cost of that asset at that time, the end of its life, is the residual value. So if you purchase a computer for a thousand pounds and in three years time you're going to get rid of it for around about 200 pounds, then you have 800 pounds worth of depreciation over the life of the asset. And I'll go through that in a bit more detail 
as we look at an example for straight line method. So there are two main types of depreciation. There are other methods and other ways to depreciate, but these are the two main methods. Straight line method. With straight line method, the depreciation is the same in a monetary value sense per year. Now, please don't get confused about this because I'll give you some examples of straight line method and reducing balance. And that is the second method, reducing or diminishing balance. The same percentage, that's depreciation. The depreciation is a same percentage value per year. Now, you may think these things are the same, but as I look at some examples with you, you'll find out that they're not. So example one, straight line depreciation. So going back to the whole computer purchase, because this is an asset that a lot of businesses purchase. It's something that we all can relate to. So a business purchases a computer for £1,500, £1,500 or dollars. The expected life in the business is three years. Let's say the business always replaces its computers, its PCs after three years. That's the the procedure. So expected value in three years time, the residual value is £600. So using a bit of research and some common sense, we believe the computer is going to be worth about £600 in three years time. So using straight line method, straight line depreciation, where the monetary value is the same, the depreciation value is the same each year. If we have £1,500, that's the cost of the asset. Going back to this formula, cost of asset less residual value equals amount to depreciate. So the cost of the asset is £1,500 minus the residual value, the expected value in three years, equals £900. That's the amount we need to depreciate over the next three years. So £900 divided by three years is £300 per year. So each year, every 12-month period, we would depreciate the asset by £300. So in three years' time, the asset, according to our accounts, will be worth £600. Please just watch the video again or go back. You can pause the video, look at my notes. I do understand I'm covering this quite quickly. So just take your time. There's no reason why you can't just keep watching the video. Example two, this is reducing balance or diminishing balance. Computer example again, computer purchased at £1,500 or $1,500, 1500 euros, whatever it is. Expected life in the business five years and let's say we're going to depreciate by 15 percent per year now what's interesting about these percentages that we choose to depreciate assets by is that we can't change them if you buy a computer and you're going to depreciate by 15 percent per year you have to stick with that you can't depreciate it 15 percent one year 25 percent another year five percent a different year, you have to stick with the 15%. So year one, we would have £1,500, which is the cost of the asset, minus 15% equals £225, uh, the new balance being 1275 Now, I haven't actually listed this calculation out very well, um, the £225 is the 15% of 1500 pounds um, giving the new asset balance of 1275 so year two our asset is now worth 1275 so we would minus 15% again if these calculations are right that would be 191 bringing the new balance to 1084 that's the new value of our asset so year three we would have 1084 minus 15% uh, the 15% being 163, the new balance 921. So you can see the value of the asset is coming down each year. And in the first years, the amount is greater than later years. So hopefully you can see the difference between straight line method and reducing balance. 
with straight line method it's the same each year um, we use the cost of the asset minus the residual value and then just divide that difference the depreciation amount over the lifetime of the asset with reducing balance you're just re reducing a percentage each year and the actual monetary value is going to be different once again if I'm going to quickly please just watch the video pause it read my notes whatever you need to do so some notes you credit the asset account if you know your debits and credits um, assets are a debit entry so to bring that amount down you would credit and expenses are debit so that's the double entry now you generally wouldn't credit the asset account you'd actually credit asset depreciation you'd have a separate t account for asset depreciation but i don't want to go too much um, into detail about these things must stick with depreciation method uh, i've mentioned that spending money on repair and maintenance of an asset does not remove the need for depreciation so if you service the computer if you buy some new parts of the computer it doesn't remove the need to depreciate that asset should depreciate different parts of an asset this will not be applicable to 90 percent of you but let's say you buy a plane for your business um, it's just one asset a jet plane say but you can depreciate different parts of that plane say the engines of the jet plane will be depreciated at a different value or different percentage compared to the structure of the plane let's say the interior of the plane is actually worth um, a different amount of money too i know you can resell um, plane interior seats etc so you can actually depreciate the different parts of the jet plane separately but like i said for 95 90 percent of you you won't need to do that another note land is not depreciated why would you depreciate land it's actually quite the opposite land should really appreciate over time it's, it's quite the opposite you don't need to depreciate land um, because it's not losing any value hopefully okay so check out my website for more free bookkeeping and accounting content i have loads of videos on there just like this one i have a number of blog blog posts and other things so free bookkeeping accounting.com you can follow me on twitter at bookkeep master and on facebook the bookkeeping master i appreciate the time you have taken to watch this pres presentation i appreciate any likes any shares thank you for watching